Anti-beef movement. Always wins. That wall came down, darling. Here is your bike. Love your fellow man and all wear matching jumpsuits while working on a growth of hydroponic farm growing potatoes. Or kill or be killed. And starve the poor. Let us decide for you. Give Back off! up and enjoy freedom. Let's go to the phones. Uh, yeah, hi. Here's the deal. I'm really funny, but nobody wants to hire somebody funny. I, I mean, how is that fair? No, I, I mean, I'm white, funny. middle class, very erudite, uh, you know, whatever that means, but the people just respond badly to me. I, I don't understand it. Are you related to my husband? <laughs> uh, I, I don't think so. I hope not. Have you got a question about your politics? <laughs> yeah, sure. I know a lot about politics. Hey, can I do your job? You know, I used to be on the radio. Back in the day. Even my husband can't do his job, you strange, pathetic little sap. Let's have a real <laughs> caller, please. Hi, my name's Michelle. I'm a first time caller to the show. I wanted to know what you guys thought about the proposition of smoking. Can anybody need to say why? Smoking. Democracy at work again in our state. Seems like a good thing when you first look at it, but democracy only Please works when you agree with it. Back. Then it's best to favor a totalitarian state. I'm not sure about this one. I think smoking is an invasion of my body, and I've always wanted to shoot people. I'm right behind the proposition. Me too. Thanks, Michelle. I also wanted to say hi to my stepbrother, Bill, who's been undergoing a hair transplant. Oh, hey, Bill, hey, so, if you're listening, I hope it's six this time. I won't tell anyone you've got plugs, honey. I'm really proud of you. That's great, honey. But if you want shout-outs, call the rap station. That's offensive. And I'm really offended by what you're saying. I'm a smoker. This used to be a free country. When? <laughs> good point, darling. Gotcha. Yes, good point. But remember, our founding fathers grew tobacco. It relaxed them between stressful stints of genocide and witch burning. And you're so against raising taxes, smokers pay more taxes than anyone. My grandfather smoked his whole life. <laughs> he lived until he was 32. So what I'm saying...
you Hiya must guys. wait. Hey there, Tiger. Excuse you. Hi, a guy. They beat me in green in a black CD. Yo, pumping some funky shit by the DOC. It's a career that lasts a lifetime. A career where you're always on the winning team. Put your skills to work in the military. I was on the street lawn. It's called a Marfa Ballast Titanium. God, I love to say that. A Marfa Ballast Titanium. The sound of it gives me a red blood in my khaki. If I come back as a superhero, I want to be called that. It's a Marfa Ballast Titanium, the rare botanical wonder. See his eight foot protrusion as he pollinates on everyone. But why does it think so bad? It's about marking your territory, my man. You don't mark your territory. 